Okie dokie. So today we're talking about positive and negative control. And so these are, oops. so positive and negative control. Negative, this is what we've been working with, with the operons. And the reason they're negative is because they turn the gene off in a way. So in repressible, it's on and we turn it off. And in inducible, it's off and we turn it on. So turning the, both have the gene in an off state. But in a positive one, in positive control, we're just going to assist in um, making it easier for RNA polymerase. Positive control, assist binding with RNA polymerase. Okay. And so I'm just going to draw a little thing about that. So, and I'm going to draw, let's see here. So here's our gene. We have the regulatory gene, the promoter, the operon, the gene, the terminator, right? The rest of our DNA. The rest of the DNA. And so we have an activator. And what the activator is going to do is all the activator does is make, so this would be called an activator protein. And all it does is makes it easier for RNA to bind. So, and what's going to happen is you have a ligand. So ligand, and ligand is this messenger molecule. So we have an inactive. What's going to happen is you have an inactive. Activator proteins, so this one would be active. And you have an inactive. And so the ligand comes, it's going to bind to the inactive one. So if ligand's a little triangle, and we have a little Pac Man. When Pac Man gets fed and turns into an active activator protein, then it'll be able to bond to the promoter region, and that's just going to make it, once again, easier for RNA polymerase. So the more ligands there are, the better. It's basically how that works. So that's